Hello boys, how are we? Today I want to talk about something that I've covered on my channel before, but I wanted to come at it from a slightly different angle. That would be organisation and preparation. But today I wanted to come at it more from the angle of dealing with stress and things like that. Um, stress is awful. Uh, when you stress, it raises something called your cortisol levels. Having high cortisol levels absolutely ruins your sleep, your mental health, your physical health, your testosterone, it's just absolutely awful. It's something that, that's why sort of athletes and people like that, and people that do high level physical activity, one of the major things that they try to take out of their life is stress because it has such a detrimental effect on the body. And when they're trying to sleep and recover and things like that, they've done loads of studies of, of people who sort of trade and, and recover with low cortisol levels in relation to high cortisol levels and the people that have the lower stress kind of lifestyles recover so much better and are in a much better place. Now I don't know about you but for me one of the biggest stresses is having to rush and being late for something it's something that was drilled into me as a kid just to never be late for anything um, and that means if you're not organised then you end up having to get ready last minute or have to run for a train or something like that that for me is absolutely stress central so that's why today i wanted to talk about planning organization things like that but from a slightly different angle of giving yourself more time rushing is something that can ruin even the best event when you think that you've got hours and hours and you end up having to throw something together last minute you can have the most fun you can have your own birthday planned but if you end up having to rush because you've got a timing wrong where you missed the train or or something like that and you have to throw an outfit together last minute it just it can just ruin it can just ruin everything because that's not where you want to be you want to feel like you're sort of in control of what you're doing and everything like that and again you don't want to like we don't want to ruin things that are meant to be fun so stressing and being late if you can avoid it which 90% of the time you can because it's in your hands is something that we want to do Personally the reason that I get so frustrated when I end up being late or rushing is because as I said 90% of the time it is completely within my control and it is just purely down to a lack of organization now when I was younger I was actually quite the opposite I would always be so early for everything I'd I'd stress almost the other way I'd stress so much that I ended up turned up to play if it was if a party started at seven I'd be at the door at 659 and obviously we all know you don't actually turn up to a party the moment it's meant to start you turn up a little bit later so that was almost socially incongruent as well I'd be sort of 10 minutes early for for trains I'd be I'd wake up so early for no reason to make sure I was in the office and it was brilliant because I was barely ever late but at the same time that sort of caused unnecessary stress and as I've got older I've tried to avoid that but I've now gone too much the other way where a lot of the time and I'm never sort of seriously late or, or really but I end up ruining a lot of events for myself because my time management is so poor because I'm not or I wasn't I should say setting out the correct amount of time to get ready for things and be where I needed to be at the correct time that meant I ended up rushing and it would just completely ruin the mood ruin my day even if it was something that I was really looking forward to doing a notable thing that's quite relatable is if you or someone who works early in the morning or has early lectures or something like that is getting up earlier because if you if you're if you need to I don't know if you if you're working even if you're working from home even if you're not traveling and you start at nine and you're waking up at 8 45 that's no way to that's no way to do things because you're going to end up you're basically waking up going straight into stress, which is just absolutely awful. You're waking up and going, oh, right, I've got 15 minutes to jump in the shower, get changed, brush my teeth, do my hair, log on, charge everything. And like, and like you just leave yourself so so little time. Whereas if you've got a, a 9 a.m. start and you wake up at 8, all of a sudden, even if you don't want to go to the gym or something, even if you just want to use that hour to relax, yeah. that you're, you're so much more chilled. And again, it goes back to those stress levels and cortisol levels, that if you're starting your morning first thing with stress, it's just gonna ruin the rest of your day and it's such a bad way to start things. Likewise, if you have to commute or something like that and you're always lit and you're catching and you're, and you're waking up so you, you've gotta be ready so quickly to catch the last possible train. If you miss that train, you're gonna be late for work. Like that's, that's no way to live for the sake of getting up 15, 20 minutes earlier um, or maybe even a little bit more, then that, that's just so, so worth the time. 
because it gives you that time to sort of be a little bit slower in the morning. You don't want to wake up and be straight into action. That's not how we're meant to be. We're meant to wake up and sort of almost, almost defrost, I suppose, is the best way, the best way to put it. You don't want to be waking up and going straight into a stressful situation because even if you don't feel it at the moment, that is going to be something that is going to be really detrimental for the rest of the rest of your day, but also sort of going on through the years further down your life. That also goes for the night before, because if you're laying in bed and maybe you're struggling to sleep or something like that and you know that you've got to get up and when you've got to get up you're going to jump straight into action as well, you might end up stressing the night before about something that, that, that hasn't even happened yet. And yeah, most of the time I'm sure you are on time and everything like that, but again, we're talking for the sake of 15-20 minutes just to give yourself that little bit of extra time in the morning to just make your life a little bit easier. Following on from that, to talk about the night before, Start winding down a little bit earlier in the evening. Don't go to bed sort of with your brain going 100 miles an hour and stressing. Rather than sort of, uh, I don't know, sitting on your phone or whatever until 11 o'clock at night before you go to bed, um, sitting downstairs watching TV or something like that, maybe start winding down for bed at more like 9 o'clock or something like that. That doesn't mean you literally have to be in bed lights off at 9 o'clock, but maybe at 9 o'clock, build some sort of some sort of routine where you go, alright cool, I'm gonna consciously go on my phone a little bit less. I'm gonna make sure that my bed is made. I'm gonna make sure I know what I'm wearing for the following day that everything's where it needs to be if I'm going into work or going into school. If I have I packed my bag, if I've got sports um, have I got my, my sports bag or whatever? Have you written, if you're somebody who writes a to-do list, which is something I'd always recommend, have you written your to-do list for at least the first half of the of the next day so you're not waking up in the morning again going straight into that stress of all oh, right what have i got to do have you checked your calendar see all right i've got meetings tomorrow so i have to wear i have to wear a suit tomorrow so you don't get dressed into casual wear and then realizing you've got to change out and you and you end up rushing and stressing and things like that um so that that's sort of i know i know i've sort of covered two areas there in terms of rushing and stressing but the reason that it came to is sort of something that came came to my attention is that I got a bit slack coming back to come back to university. Obviously, I've gave, gave up my job sort of a couple of weeks ago. That university life is so sort of because there basically is no structure. As long as you're in for your lectures, which aren't even compulsory, you don't really have anywhere to be. Which means you are completely responsible for your own schedule. And I find myself getting a little bit lax. So this is something that I'd sort of taken some notes on. You guys know that I write write all my notes and take my scripts and whatever. That's how I come up with these videos. So yeah, to recap. Give yourself a little bit of extra time. Wake up a little bit early in the morning. Go to sleep a little bit earlier. Maybe plan your outfit, pack your bags, whatever you need to do. So in terms of a call to action for what I'd say, try it for a week. For the next week, pick your outfit the night before and give yourself an extra 15 minutes for any sort of place that you have to be. If you have to get a train, make sure you're not running for the train. Leave 15 minutes earlier than you would. If you have to get a, if you have to get a bus, if you have to be at work or whatever, just for the next week, give yourself an extra 15 minutes on everything you have to do, and just see how you feel. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. I do appreciate you guys who stick around. I do apologise for the voice and the uh, lack of energy. I think uh, Fresh's flu has hit a little bit. Um, don't feel terrible, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit in the voice and everything like that. Um, if you did appreciate anything, if you did learn anything, feel free to like, subscribe. As always, comment any other advice you have below, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care lads.